up, uh, get some video in again. <laughs> How are you today? I don't know, sat the water, it's quite funny. I'm a bit pissed off, really. Drown. Why? You know what happened today. Oh, fucking hell. Fucking Jade. Fucking tits. Fucking tits. Tits around him. The we should make a song called The Tits Around Him. The Tits Around So what do you think about this bomb for Old Trafford? Do you say we go and have a look? Yeah, uh, see Old Trafford there. You Indiana Bones and his twisted you sidekick. You can't quite see it, I'll just zoom in. Zoom. It's fucking slow as fuck this bomb. Why don't zoom. we do the Indiana Bones in the, zoom. the secret sidekick? Zoom. Zoom. Hey dick fucker. Zoom. Hey, I'm, gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. Can't we do Indiana Bones in his trustful sidekick? You see that red bit there? That's all Trafford, see? Can't we do Indiana Bones in his trustful sidekick? Who's his trustful psychic? You, of course, you penis fucker. Alright, I get it. Can we, think, can we go over there and have a look at the bombs? No, because we might get bombed. What's the point? I want to get shot. No, you don't. Yeah, Come on, Pa, do a funny video. Do you oh scream? Do you scream? Oh my god, no, because his camera's looking at us. Oh, ancient Chinese proverb. Oh, Chava, Ah, oh, Chinese piss by looking at us and piss on your face. Huh? Oh, you're piss and shit. It's called scat fucker. Everything's come to an end. I hope that, in painful accident, with a whale and a fish and a spear. You see, whale and spear equal a very hunt of whale, piece of piece of shit. <laughs> and then you see the people with cranes and big stocky legs. And they eat all types of fish and leaves from the water, they scoff it in. But the best thing about living in China is the fact that you can climb a mountain and not get seen for days. And then you get rescued by some big effort in the sky. It's very funny. And big fat Buddha sit there all day going, Oh, the life is like a box of chocolate. You'll never know what you're going to get. Unless he says on the wrapper what you're going to get. I don't get that line. I mean, come on, you have a leaflet in the box of chocolate that says, this is a caramel fudge. And then he picks one and says, I don't know what this is. I eat it and try. What's the point in that? We can the box of chocolate as far as come get. What kind of box of chocolate does he buy? Does he buy from now? Or from something like that? It's pointlessly stupid. Life is like a box of chocolate. We don't live in the fucking holes in a piece of plastic. We live in a big world with, with people and dogs and stuff like that. What are you laughing at me for? <laughs> you could some films. I don't get it, it's not funny. Life is like a box of chocolates. If life was like a box of chocolates, I'm sure. Oh my god, what's that? We'll only see in a minute. You never know what you're going to get. I never know what I'm going to get anyway. What do you expect me to do? If I go and pick a ball out bag, I don't know what I'm going to get. I could get a big one, I could get a small one. I mean, my ball's not small, but I mean, come on. It's not, it's just not right. Life is like a pretty box of chocolates. Yeah. Forrest Bloody Gum, but what's that about? <laughs> run, Forrest, run, run! Who would name their son Forrest after a piece of scenery with trees in it? Who would then name their friend Forrest Gump? Gump? What the fuck Gump about? It's not funny. What is Gump? He sounds like that thing you jump on. Jump, Forrest, Gump! Gump! I mean, what kind of Forrest Gump? I don't get it. And he's sitting on a bench, telling his life story about how he was in the army and met a crippled man, how he touched a boob and went, Oh my god, I feel so good. And then, of everything, he becomes a ping pong player. <laughs> what the hell about? Ping pong's a Chinese man game. What is a ping pong about? It's not right. <laughs> he run around the bloody country in a day. It's not right. He becomes famous and grows a big beard. And then, for some reason, he ends up on the island with a ball, talking to it and cast away. It's not bloody right. And then out of everything he could do, everything, he decides to do a voice in the bloody last train to Christmas, the Polar Express, that's the one. I don't get it. I really, really don't get it. I buy 